Hello everyone, it's Diane. I wanted to show you the other thing that I did while I was on vacation that I forgot to talk to you about yesterday. Not this, this is what I'm going to be working on today. Um, I took my beading supplies with me. I kind of haven't been beading, I've been avoiding it, making charms and things for a while. Um, but I watched um, Gail's video on making bead dangles where she uses um, the 20 gauge wire or 22 or something she might use but I think these are 20 because they're more pliable than these um, bead pin or um, what, what are they called <sighs> whatever these are I forgot what they're called but these are stiffer and harder to move and you're limited in length Although I did, I did use quite a few of these in making them because I have them and I want to use them. But I bought some copper and some this kind of a pinkish color wire, and I took that with me. And so, a couple of evenings while I was uh, relaxing, watching YouTube videos in my hotel room, I did some bead charms. So I'm just going to show them to you. First of all, I went to Michael's, and these were on sale. And these are just what I like, um, the little beads that can dangle off of a page. And these were already made for me, and they were on sale. I don't remember how much they were, but it must have been a good price or I wouldn't have gotten them. But some of these will be great for the boho journals that I'm going to be working on. Although I don't think I'll be hanging beads off of pages, not very many anyway, because I'll explain why. I'm going to show you what I'm working on before I'm done with this video if I don't take too long. So let's get going. So this summer at the flea markets, I purchased a few beautiful beads. And so I got to use some. Um, I got I put this one on with just a couple of plain black ones. And this is with the copper wire. And this, I know I'm not good at it yet, but I'm getting better. But I made the little curly cue at the bottom like Gail showed and then wrapped it up here. This is what I really need work on is the wrapping. But I don't mind if the wrapping isn't very tidy because it just adds to the bohemian homemade look, I think. And I kind of like it that way. Some of them look um, more be bohemian than this. But anyway, there's one. This was just a bead that I got at the flea market and it already had a loop in the top. So I just added a um, jump ring to it. So this this is already ready. It already had this on it. So that was an easy one. I did some longer ones. And this kind of got bent. But this is one of the paper beads that Jill Robertson made and I think this one too. She sent me some more recently. And uh, she sent me a lot of pink ones. She probably heard me say that pink's my favorite color. But anyway, I used the pink wire and I think that's pretty. So I made some little ones. Um, this one I just put on some bead caps. I love that blue and white. And I think I, I may I used this with one of the head pins. That's what these are called. Is that what I called them? There are the ones with the loops and the ones with... Well, these all have the loops. Anyway, that's what I did with that one. Just made a little one. This is another bead that Jill made, and I just added um, a jump ring to it so it's ready for Christmas journals. There's another pink one, and I did the extra curly Q stuff at the bottom on this one. That's so fun, and there's another bead made, oh, two beads made by Jill. So Jill, I'm using your beads. Pretty blue one. I love that one at the bottom. This one I did two swirly things on. This one is one that's really messy at the top, but I like it. It's just like a pile of copper up there. I love these. I did several orange ones, and for some reason, I'm not a big on orange, but I really liked these. 
I just love these pretty and those are upside down there we go there's another one of my pretty blue ones and I added oh well, they're they're kind of loose on here I'll have to do something with that there's another little one so I made this did I make this one? Yeah. I made this with the copper wire and just added a little bead and this little disc and then this little bead with um, bead caps on it. This one's pretty. I love this. And then again, a messy top. This is one of the beads I bought at the flea market and I'm so glad that I got to make something with it so pretty. I might have to put that on my boho journal that I made for myself that's got the blue and turquoise colors. This would be great on it. Those colors looks like the sea so as you can see I had fun and didn't want to quit that's another Christmas one I better put my Christmas ones aside so some somebody's texting me. Oops, dropped one. And another one. It's just a pretty pearl one. So while I was making these, I thought now um, I know what I'm doing with my beads. Thank you, Gail, for that tutorial that you did. This one just rolls right off my hand. Oops, sorry. And Michael's had their strung beads on sale. So since I was so close to Michael's, you know, I usually only go up to Michael's maybe once a month or so. But since I was right there on my in my hotel, I went over there again and I bought some of the beads that were on sale. So I got these pretty green ones. I needed some little spacer type beads and there's a whole bunch there. And then these... I already have some pink, little pink ones, I think, and then I got these gold ones. Oh, goodness. Who is texting me? And I thought these would be really good on the boho journals. And I got these because it was a variety of colors and shapes and everything. And um, so all of the red carded ones were on sale. So I got some more, and that was fun. Now here's what I'm working on. I'm going to be working on it today. I have a lot of these Conta quilt from, you know, the covers from um, Selena. And I started a while ago putting some together to make covers. And then I had to get them out and kind of figure out what I was doing because I kind of forgot. But this, there's a pocket here. So this is one of the Conta quilt covers that she sells and then, well, actually, yeah, yeah, this was a cover, I think. But I wanted to make it to wrap around, so I took some of the smaller squares that she sent, that she sold in her charm bundles, and um, made this little patched strip here. And then I will have a piece of, I don't have it right here with me, but I have a, a strip of fabric that will be um, sewn on either here or here that can wrap around and tie and I'm going to attach this right there as a decoration the tie will come around it though when it's tied but that's where I like it I thought about putting it up here where it would show while it's tied but I really like it right there so I think it's going to go there so this is what I'm starting on today I lined it with some fabrics that I got ordered on eBay from India 
I believe. I've, I've gotten things from Selena, I've gotten things from Sheila Gingrich, and I've ordered stuff on eBay, but I think these fabrics were ordered, and I'm pretty sure this was. So I made a pocket out of that, and then it must be this wasn't quite big enough over here because there's a little patch of fabric there. So I think this is a fun start, and I am going to start on cutting my paper and getting this thing started. This is going to be my design team project for October for Studio 28E. She has three boho kits, and so I'm using, I, I had the first kit already, and I'm using the third kit for this project. So that's what I'll be working on and probably I'll bring you along for part of the process. Right now I'm going to attend to all of these texts that I've been getting. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon.